calculating area and perimeter for kids. As you know, a football field is shaped like a rectangle, and it has four sides, right? Well, if you walk along the edge of that rectangle all the way around and total up the length of each side you walk, you'd be figuring out the perimeter. See that red line going around the field? That's its perimeter. Simply put, the perimeter of a shape is the distance around the edge of it. Walk along that red line, measure how far you've gone, and you'll have the perimeter. Another way to think about it is to picture a fence around a yard. The total length of that fence is the perimeter of the yard. And what about the area? You guessed it, the area is the total space inside the yard. So the perimeter is the distance outside of a shape, and the area is the space inside of it. See that red line around its edges? That's the perimeter. And the colored in space inside? That's the area. Let's assume the length of both sides of this rectangle is 7 inches, and the width of both sides is 3 inches. To find the perimeter, we add up the two sides of 7 inches and the two sides of 3 inches, which would equal 20 inches. 7 plus 7 equals 14, 3 plus 3 equals 6, 14 plus 6 equals 20. The straightforward formula for finding the perimeter of a rectangle is to take 2 times the width and add it to 2 times the length. But what if you have a square? Well, that's even easier. Since all four sides of a square are the same length, the perimeter of this square yard would be the length times 4. 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, or 28. Now that you know about perimeter, let's talk area. Remember, the area is the space inside the rectangle. All you have to do to calculate area is multiply the length times the width. Using our above examples, for a rectangle that has a length of 7 inches and a width of 3 inches, the area is 21 inches, because 7 times 3 equals 21. And using our square that has four sides that are all 7 inches, the area is 7 times 7, or 49 inches. Make sense? Perimeter and area are pretty easy once you learn the formulas. It's important to remember that the measurements of perimeter and area can be in inches, feet, kilometers, or miles, depending on whatever units you're using. Squares and rectangles with all different perimeters and areas are all around us. But what if you don't have a square or a rectangle? What if you're trying to find the perimeter and area of an odd-shaped space? like this one. As you can see, it's not a rectangle and it's not a square. If you look closely, you'll see that there are actually two rectangles and one square that make up the shape. To find the perimeter of this shape, you just have to measure the outside of the entire shape. See the black line that goes around the whole thing? If we know the length of that line, we can figure out the perimeter. To find the area of the shape, you have to find the area of each of the smaller figures and then add them together. Of course, sometimes, finding the measurements of an odd-shaped figure can be tricky when you have limited information. Notice that there are missing lengths? Check it out. The length of the green line is 20 inches. This will help you find the length of C. First, we add the other two lengths together, 6 inches and 9 inches, to get 15 inches. Then, we subtract 15 from 20 to get 5. So, the length of line C is 5 inches. Next, to find the width of lines A and B, take a look at the width of the lines directly across the figure. For help, follow the arrows. Line A is equal to 4 inches, and line B is equal to 7 inches. The key to finding missing measurements of odd-shaped figures is to observe the lengths or widths directly across from the missing measurements. Other times, you have to add or subtract certain measurements to find a missing length or width. Okay, now that we know the missing measurements, we can figure out the perimeter and area of the shape. Let's start with the area. We know the length of rectangle A is 20 inches, and its width is 4 inches. Since area equals length times width, the area of rectangle A is 80 square inches. By the way, You'll notice that area is always measured in square inches, or square feet, or square miles, depending on what units you're using. For more on that, 
refer to our other video called Applying Area in Real Life. We know that the length of rectangle B is 7 inches and its width is 5 inches. Since the area is length times width, its area is 35 square inches. Now, if we add together rectangle A and rectangle B, the total area is 80 plus 35, or 115 square inches. But what about the perimeter? As you recall, we need to measure the outside of the figure. Watch as we trace the outline of the entire figure and add the lengths and widths together as we go. 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 4 plus 20 equals 62. So, our perimeter is 62 inches. To sum up, here are the steps to find the area of this irregular shape. First, find the missing measurements. Then, cut the figure into smaller rectangles or squares. To find the overall area, find the area of each smaller figure, then add them together. To find the perimeter, trace the outline of the entire figure and add up the lengths and widths. If it helps, you can think of the odd shape as a puzzle, which you are taking apart to discover the area, then putting back together again to find the perimeter. So now you know the general idea of perimeter and area. Of course, there's a lot more to learn. For more about area and how it applies to shapes like triangles, trapezoids, rhombuses, and others, watch our other video about area called Applying Area in Real Life. In the meantime, think about perimeter and area as you see squares and rectangles all around you. Once you start, you won't be able to stop obsessing about lengths, widths, and spaces in between. Thanks for following Clarendon Learning. Be sure to subscribe. For more free resources, check us out at clarendonlearning.org.